It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. So which of the following statements are false? A trapezoid is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means four sides. A trapezoid does indeed have four sides, so that one's good. We have interior angles of a trapezoid add up to 360. Well, any quadrilateral, if you add up all of the angles on the inside, they always will add to 360, so that is true as well. Two sides of a trapezoid are always parallel. Indeed, the definition of trapezoid is that two of the sides are parallel, all right? And then in this case, area of a trapezoid, this is our only one left, so that can't be correct, but let's check this. One half base times height is the area of a trapezoid. No, half the base times the height is a very important area formula, but that's the area of a triangle. So we're going to go ahead and say that D is going to be our answer. This is the one that is false. So they want us to convert 36% to a fraction. Well, two ways of doing this. One is recognizing which of these is definitely the answer because the others are not. Some common fractions here, one half is 50%, two thirds is going to be 66.6 .6 repeated, and three fourths is 75%. A lot of people know those threes, so the answer here is going to be C. The long way of doing it would be doing 36 over 100 and then reducing that fraction. Well, both of these are divisible by four. 36 divided by four is nine, and 100 divided by 4 is 25, meaning 9 over 25 is our answer. So for number 23, we need two things here, the definition of supplement, and we need to know some algebra work here. So it says angle A is three times its supplement angle B. Now supplement means that the two of them together add to 180. Now if I have angle B and angle A is three times that, I'm going to label angle B as X, and if A is three times that, I'm going to call that 3X. So the two of these together need to add to 180. So I have 3X plus X equals 180. Well, that's just going to be 4X equals 180. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. That gives me X is equal to 45. Now be careful because 45 is angle B. We actually need to multiply that by 3 in order to get angle A. So that's actually going to give us an answer of 135. Number 24 says the fourth root of 256 is what? Well, fourth root means you're taking a number raised to the fourth power and it gives you this. What's that number? Well, I know that 16 times 16 is already going to be 256. So that's just squared, so that guy's out. 24 is larger than that, so that's out as well. So we're looking at 4 or 8. Let's go ahead and try 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times another 4 is 64, times another 4 is going to end up giving us the 256 that we need. So A is our final answer. Sometimes it's all about the quick tricks. For number 25, Grace answered 14 out of 20 questions correctly. What percent of the total numbers of the questions was she able to answer correctly? So we need to know what 14 out of 20 would be as a percent. Well, 14 out of 20, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this down to a 7 out of 10 by dividing both the top and bottom by 2. Now, I'm going to do that because I know that 7 out of 10 is an easy percent to find at 70%, whereas I may not have seen that right away with the 20. So 70% is our final answer, which is B. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB, so make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni, and if you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below, and make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.